Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, ever since Diddy's recent arrest for alleged racketeering, conspiracy, and sex trafficking, it's created a witch hunt in the music industry. Now, celebrities and fans have been speaking up about who else could potentially be involved or aware of all that was going down with the bad boy co-founder. Now, Suge Knight weighed in recently and claimed several notable people like Jay-Z and Dr. Dre, were privileged to Puff's crime. Now, the former Death Row CEO spoke with Chris Cuomo of News Nation and clarified that he does not jump up and down and cheer for no black man going to jail. But Knight acknowledged that, though some people do deserve to serve time in prison for their crime, it is not always the answer, and it can cause difficulties for those with kids and family. Though he did have this empathetic approach, he also held no punches and called out several rappers who have been silent. Now, Shook said, facts there. Where we're at now, I don't care if it's T.I., I don't care if it's Rick Ross, I don't care if it's Jay-Z, I don't care if it's Snoop Dogg, I don't care if it's The Game, I don't care if it's Dr. Dre. Nobody stepping up on the fact that you knew what was going on. Shook also directed his energy at some major powers within the music industry, some of whom have their own public skeletons in their closet, such as Russell Simmons, Clyde Davis, and Jimmy Iron. Now, Knight claimed that Diddy was taught this behavior by people before him, which supports the claims made by Diddy's former guard, Gene Deal, in a conversation he had with the Art of Dialogue. Now, Gene Deal said, you gotta realize, he learned from Andre Harrell. He learned from Russell Simmons. He learned from Clyde Davis. When those people are telling you that they are heavy into the drugs. They was heavy into being women and doing things at that crazy stage. That's gonna make him think that he can get away with the same thing. Now, Gene also specifically stated that he refused to use the word alleged in his claims because he witnessed these behaviors firsthand. It can make a man into a monster, and that's what it did to Diddy. Mm. Now, as you know, Diddy is currently in prison awaiting trial after being denied bail twice. He was arrested in New York City last week and was essentially in his hometown to cooperate with authorities. Now, uh, he was disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. And this is what Sean Diddy Combs' lawyer had to say. He said Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropists who have spent the last 30 years building the empire, adoring his children, and working to uplift the community. He is an imperfect person, but he's not a criminal. Please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide, and he looks forward to clearing his name in court. Mmm, I don't think so. I don't think. Mm. Well, my thoughts on this is, um, I don't care who taught you. You know right from wrong. And you know if your black ass did it, that didn't make you come out clean. And just because those people had got away with it, you didn't have to follow that same path. Mm. What y'all think? guys that's it for me thank you so very much for watching and i hope you will like share and subscribe to my channel and as always important be blessed y'all